I am Brad Leiser, and this is my daughter Kelly and my youngest son Lucas. And uh, we have our herd is called Leiser Landing Cattle, and then the two kids each have their own brand name, starting their own herds. Um, we've started. This will be we bought Peter's Genetics bred heifers the last two years, and have been extremely happy with the results. Um, especially the red ones we got this year. We farm about 4,000 acres of row crop and we've got 75 beef cows uh, on permanent pasture and they are fed 100% with waterway grass from our row crop. I was gung-ho out of college that I was going to be a cowboy, or maybe since I was 10. Um, we had 100 cows and it seems like that's all that I did intensive grazing and multiple pastures and when we started growing a family uh, something needed to change so we scaled back a little bit um, down to like 30 cows and then we bought some more pasture and have slowly are increasing again um, when the kids thought they might want to come back home uh, that I guess encouraged investment in livestock and uh, it's an opportunity to let the kids get involved with a little skin in the game and not have to spend $400,000 on a tractor to be part of the operation. So I've always kind of been involved with the cows, but I've never had my own herd until this year. So it's very much different having your own cows. I think it's also, well our whole herd is together, so even if I am just caring for mine, I'm also having to care for the whole herd. So it's teaching me to how to care for the whole herd even though I don't own the whole thing for the future. And Lucas owns some too. The kids have to have sweat equity to pay for their vet bills and uh, feed costs and stuff get subsidized by their sweat equity. I thought the cabin went pretty good. I thought the red cows were a lot tamer than our heifer ever have been. You could walk up to them, you weren't really scared of them. Um, we didn't have, did we have to pull one? I think um, I've had to pull one. I pulled one. Mom wanted to pull one. Yeah. So, one out of 15. I don't know. One thing I like about buying a group of heifers is the excitement. Usually, we pen them separately so they're not in the main herd while they're right before calving and during calving. And, uh, it's really fun to just go out there and you're looking at them once or twice a day and being excited about what kind of a cow you think it's going to make or what their calf's going to look like and uh, it's kind of like buying a new car for a car junkie. We used to save our own heifers when we had a, more pastures but now we're all in one pasture and so it's just a lot more work to keep sires and cows separate and uh, on a smaller scale it seemed like I always had bad luck if I would keep 10 or 15 heifers a year uh, I would end up with 11 or 13 bred by the time we got done and when you're in a small number that's a high percentage of loss uh, it seems like when you buy from a large herd you're getting the advantage of the very best uh, kind of get to pick pick from a bigger source um, you get a more even group just by volume and we appreciate the work that you guys do so we don't have to do it